हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई हीडा टाइटल ऑफ द लेक्चर इज आर्सिंग ग्राउंड सो व्हाट इज दिस आर्सिंग ग्राउंड बेसिकली इट इज द सर्च व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस इफ द न्यूट्रल इज नॉट ग्राउंडेड व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस इफ द न्यूट्रल इज not grounded so the phenomena of arsing ground occurs in the ungrounded three phase systems because the because of the flow of capacitive current because of the flow of the capacitive currents now what is this capacitive current see this capacitive current is the current flow between the conductors it is the current flow between the conductors when the voltage is applied to it when the voltage is applied to it and this voltage across the capacitance voltage across the capacitances is known as phase voltage this voltage is known as phase voltage so during the fault the voltage across the capacitance in the faulted phase reduces to zero while in other phases voltage is increased by root 3 times so this is the arsing ground definition now we'll see the phenomena of arsing ground arsing ground phenomena now we know the phenomena of arsing ground occurs in the ungrounded three phase system so in a three phase line phase a phase b and phase c these are the three phase line with neutral ungrounded so suppose this is ungrounded neutral so each phase has a capacitance on earth each phase has a capacitance on earth c c c so when the fault occurs on any of the phases then the capacitive fault current flows into the ground this is capacitive current suppose current in phase a this is capacitive current in phase a ic a in b ic b this is fault current if and this is the capacitive current i c so if the fault current exceeds 4 to 5 ampere if fault current exceeds 4 to 5 amperes then it is sufficient to maintain the arc 
in the ionized path of the fault in the ionized path of the fault this is arcing ground even though the fault has cleared itself even though the fault has cleared itself now capacitive current i see over 4 to 5 ampere flow through the fault give rise to an arc this gives rise to an arc in the ionized path of the fault in the ionized path of the fault and with the formation of arc with the formation of the arc the voltage across it becomes zero so with the formation of arc the voltage across it becomes zero and therefore arc is extinguished therefore arc is extinguished but the potential of the fault current is shown potential of fault current restored due to which arc form again due to which formation of a second arc takes place and the phenomena of phenomena of intermittent arcing is called the arc is called the arcing grounding this is known as arcing grounding now how to eliminate now how to eliminate arcing grounding so the surge voltage due to this arcing ground can be removed by using arc suppression coil or peterson coil through this we can remove the arcing ground now arc suppression coil this coil has an iron core taped reactor connected in neutral to ground connection connected in neutral to ground connection so this is the figure for three phase phase a phase b and phase c three phase line so in this iron core tape reactor is connected in neutral to ground and this is known as arc suppression coil so in this the reactor of the arc suppression coil extinguishes the arc extinguishes the arcing ground by neutralizing the capacitive current 
by neutralizing the capacitive current now second is the peterson coil first is the arc separation coil second one is the peterson coil now in peterson coil so peterson coil isolates the system it isolates the system in which healthy phase continue healthy phase continue to supply power and avoid the complete shutdown and avoid the complete shutdown on the system till the fault was located and isolated till the fault was located and iso related so these are two methods through which we can extinguish the arcing ground first is the arc separation coil and second one is a peterson coil so in arc separation coil arc co tape reactor is connected in neutral to ground connection so this reactor of arc separation coil extinguish the arcing ground by neutralizing the capacitive current and peterson coil isolates the system means healthy phase continue to supply power and up and avoid the complete shutdown on the system till the fault was located and isolated so these are the two methods of arcing ground thank you